right, it's Juan and Adrian for PedalsandEffects.com. I got Adrian in here. He's recording today for Halo Orbit. And then I said, yo, we should grab you and have you do a Pedals and Effects on your pedal board. This is the one you've been just doing like these shows with recently, some touring stuff. Yeah, or? yeah, exactly. And um, actually, it's, it's kind of half of what we had with the Volta, though, mm. uh, minus the. Um, the Maestro box, the W2. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Right. I, I, uh, I got that rid of it because of the noise. But um, yeah, uh, this is pretty much uh, what I'm touring with. Uh, I'm adding the an extra the um, mixer, uh, the little mixer, right. because I need the uh, I need an extra space for the for the flute and um, the Ewe. Right. Uh, I'm using the 4000S. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much. So Jake, so basically, you input goes into uh, yeah, the uh, microphone goes into the into, into the wah into uh -huh. the wah and and uh, like I said, not as a little mixer, but it's the wah the first guy, and then from there the phaser, and then uh, and then I have the space echo, and then the space echo to the super shifter, and then out to the sense amp, uh, which you donated a long time ago, <laughs> and uh, that's how I go out. Um, I usually run it on a uh, RE20, um, uh, and then uh, that's direct for the saxophone. Sometimes I use um, a Samsung uh, uh, wireless, which oh, is right. which is uh, one of my endorsers, and uh, but that's for the horn. And then, like I said, the Ewe goes directly um, on a quarter inch, and uh, the flute I usually have like a. Uh, 57, if not an Audix um, clip on mic. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, what I'm trying to, the reason I, I had it like that, because um, I, I really play a lot with, uh, with the, the detune, de and, um, and for my group, I do a lot of bass I take a lot of the uh, the um, I guess like the bass is raw you know right. so I use a lot of the octave or two octaves now with a phaser to create like some kind of a, a bass tone right on the saxophone or the bass clarinet um, I do I did that I recorded that with uh, I mean I did that format with uh, with tram and uh, because we don't I didn't have a bass player then it right. was just two guitar players. Uh, two string, uh, two eight string guitar players, uh, right, right. me on the bass clarinet and the horn and drums. So I had to do a lot of bass doubling when the guitar players were shredding. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> hold and, uh, it down. Yeah, but we well, we used to do that. Uh, when when yeah. uh, we uh, I was just doubling bass, uh, your bass lines with the bass clarinet, and then you you uh, you will be a little freer. On, you know, on your solos. Right, right. But I could hear you when I could. <laughs> when, you could. when I could, you know. But uh, but basically, that's that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's sounds, it sounded questions. awesome on the recording. Yeah. Like so, like can you play a little? Like maybe throw however you get it. Because like the one thing we all loved was the 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 walk into the uh, phase ninety. What I did on that one, I, I put a. You had to kind of get a help with this guy. Oh. Thank you. 
You know, it's that <laughs> dope, dude. That was yeah. super tight. So that, um, so yeah, you have to kind of, oh, sorry, kind of help gain some time with this to um, to push the phaser going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, this is an acoustic instrument. I'm not plugged in into this thing. Right, right, right. Which it, uh, when I had the master box, it would help me a lot oh, because right. I had the pickup in. Right, right. So. It was something always going in, even if it was like a feedback from the pickup, you know. But in this case, since this is the microphone, uh, I don't know, you just... Hey, uh, it was dope, dude. Yeah, man. And <laughs> so is there anything like in pedal world, like is there anything you're looking to get? Like, like have you heard about anything that you thought like, Shh, I'm going to check that out with the board? Yeah, uh, yes, you know what I just... Um, uh, on one of my groups, um, I, I had Tosin Abasi mm -hmm. um, and, uh, for Tram and he uh he really got me into the boomerang oh right sure. i really i really want i really wanted a like a straight looper right type of thing right and um so i i tried that once but i, I don't think i was ready for it right. <laughs> so, uh the boomerang is the big sampler right? yes it's yeah, not the big sampler but i, I kind of like it that it's pretty um i guess is uh, what the word yeah. i'm looking for is like uh a, a schematic or like you can see everything right um, yeah it's way bigger than like the dl4 the the green yeah, line six exactly one. and so you, you have you have separate volume for right. uh, so you have like one track you have volume for that and you can uh it's a direct i mean it's a, um um clean a clean loop which are the other ones for me doesn't help then you have to wait for the loop to come back around and uh well, you know, um, there's one right now at True Tone. I okay. was there yesterday, mm -hmm. and I saw one there, boom. Okay. It's in pretty good shape. You should check it out. It's really? Monica. Yeah. Hey, hey, and, uh, I mean, have you tried, have you, have you? I've messed with them before. I, I don't have it, because they got so mm -hmm. pricey, you know, they're, they're so expensive for what they are. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, I like it. I like also that it has that, the big reverse button, you know, which mm -hmm. is always cool. Like, when the DL4 has that too, but, mm -hmm. but, you know, like, I think I think that in the future I think there's a lot of companies investing in samplers like mm -hmm. that are more functional. I mean, there's a tons of samplers mm -hmm. that you can use in a pedal format, mm -hmm. but they need to be big because you're doing this, and you know, like you should see Nick. This dude mm -hmm. owns that DL4, mm -hmm. but it's really hard when the buttons are small or whatever. So I think more companies are thinking about using it for guys who can mm -hmm. really get around and mm -hmm. do quick shit, you know, mm -hmm. be able to edit it really quickly on the mm -hmm. fly, reverse. So we'll mm -hmm. see. I mean, there's a few companies, but right now, I mean, the two main ones are, are definitely the Line 6 DL4 and then the... The, the Line 6, I tried that one, yeah. and it is great. That, yeah. that is, that's actually, that's pretty dope. It's like that's this, you know, it's like this, and it is cool. That's the one we I used for mm -hmm. years, like Omar mm Howen, -hmm. Nick runs it. Um, mm -hmm. But the Boomerang is a little bit easier to set up. It kind of looks like that Ibanez, you know how okay. that, it's mm -hmm. like, that's how the Boomerang is. It's like almost right. like this, Nick, you know the one I'm talking about right there? Yeah. Like, yeah, flash to that, like the kids see, like that's how big the Boomerang is. I'll put it's a photo of the, it on there. Yeah. The Boomerang is like one of the classic ones. Yeah. I think Battles uses like a, the, a Gibson one. Oh, really? I, oh. I, I, I might know. get like flamed hard, but I'm pretty sure Gibson makes a looper that's what? supposed to be pretty good. Oh, I, I'm probably so wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to hear it. it. <laughs> Reddit, will, Reddit will hammer you for it. Yeah, uh, so, um, yeah but so, so that's one thing I'm I, I really into. Like, again, um, on my trio, is, uh, I don't have a bass player. I have a cello player who right. is just a, a, a guy of, of a bass player, drums and myself, right, sometimes right. another home player. And um, so, wait a second. How many groups are you like participating? In? So you have Tram. So, so Tram is basically a a, a, a lab group. You know, right. we just r uh, get together and record. But uh, Transient, uh, Transient is my main group. And uh, it's now it's now in quintet. Is it's, not, it's now in quintet. It's okay. uh, um, um, uh, Justafen uh, on um, on vibraphone, uh, Artem Manukian on, on cello. Uh, Tim Newton drums and Chris Lawrence on trumpet and myself right. and uh, and then I have uh, Gatos Fudo, Fudo which is very new but that's more groove oriented that's a B3 quartet right um, uh, James Acro on guitar uh, Ty Bell in on B3 um, Tina uh, Raymond on drums 
again. Oh, right. That's what's going on tomorrow. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, that's with Chris as, as well on trumpet and myself. And uh, but that's more of a we write more um, Jimmy Smith like right. and right. more right. a more a, a funk oriented and I don't know. That's uh, dope. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it and what is it? And didn't you, didn't you, didn't you just play the staples last year with? Was it with Molotov or was it? No, 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 no. I was. Um, that actually, I do that every once, uh, once a year on the summer with uh, Maldita Oh, Okay, Maldita. That's Ma right. That, right. Yeah, those guys are like the Rolling Stone of Mexico. Yeah, man. of course. I know, man. <laughs> those guys have been, uh, been, yeah, they've been around since I was in middle school, man. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, so you played with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's yeah. what it was. I remember just seeing some photos online that you yeah. were playing. Yeah. Like staples or something. Yeah, I, I do I do uh, the two horns and then um, keyboards, like auxiliary keyboards with them. It's, Woo! Yeah, it's cool stuff. It's tight. Wait a second, did you win another Grammy? Yeah, it's an, 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 uh, but I'm playing for my um, my professor, uh -huh. uh, classical chamber music. I was uh, playing uh, flute for my professor Donald Wilkinson's uh, chamber chamber ensemble. And they won uh, that one a Grammy. Yeah, that one. Uh, but when it's a when it's a chamber music, it's kind of like a it's considered to be a band, so you actually get get another thing, another. So you're gonna get another one. So I I, I got that one a while. Like, get, oh, okay, yeah, okay I didn't know that. So I just, one yeah. Grammy, two Grammys. Two Grammys. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> two, yes, Nick. Two Grammys. <laughs> It's yeah. Too many Grammys for one room. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're holding uh, you know my bathroom door. Yeah, I mean, hey, mine holds yeah. books up. I get that <laughs> gone in my exactly. house. So, exactly. Yeah, they're nice and heavy. Yeah. So you know, like I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, but hey, thank you for being on my side. Adios, mano. Yeah, man. Yes, thank yeah. you. Pedalsandeffects.com. Yeah,